Oh my God, my account got suspended. Why? What should I do now? What happens when your Pinterest account gets into what we call as Pinterest jail? My name is Teresa Toledo, Pinterest expert, strategist, and today we are going to talk a little bit about what a lot of people call, you know, friendly as Pinterest jail. Um, give me a follow, share me, share, oh, share your comments below. Uh, also stay to the end, I'll be sharing a great uh, free tool for you to get started on Pinterest and get your Pinterest business account up and running with intention in 30 minutes or less. So let's talk a little bit about this. Um, what happens when your account gets suspended? Well, first, how does one account get suspended? Pinterest has its own way of doing things and like any other platform, has best practices and has rules that we need to follow. And honestly, I am glad that there are certain rules and Pinterest rules are not bad. They're fine and they're helpful. And they are meant to keep the platform a happy, inspiring, safe place where people can go in to find what they're looking for, to find things to do, things to try, things to buy, and mostly to be inspired. This is what Pinterest wants. Also, it's not a place uh, to share negativity or false information. So Pinterest is very, um, in, how can I say, Pinterest works really hard on that. That doesn't mean that people don't try. That doesn't mean that we won't find things that go, ag go against uh, Pinterest best practices, but Pinterest is really good at taking care of it. So usually that can happen for a few reasons. One of the reasons is that you just got caught in the automated uh, spam filter. And as, as it is, uh, it does happen. Now there is an automatic um, filter that can be triggered and a few reasons that it can be triggered is because you are posting the same image over and over and over and over again to many boards or in back to back, or you just started your account and you decided to create 15 plus boards in a day. Uh, this is a random number that I said because we don't have in a specific number of boards that it's okay to add in one day. Uh, that's why the advice is always, you know, when you're creating a new account for you or for your client, always uh, create those boards a little bit a day, every day, a few, you know, uh, I would keep on the single digits daily because you don't want to trigger that uh, spam filter that, you know, it's just a hassle. So that could be one of the reasons why you got caught on the spam filter. Uh, another thing that sometimes could be is that when Pinterest does allow the pinner to hit, tap an option, if they don't like the content, if they think that the content is not good, the content violates the policies, and maybe if you get, you know, uh, too many strikes and I don't know what's the number of strikes because again is another thing that Pinterest does not tell us uh, That could be also an issue. So from Pinterest point of view when it comes to spammy behavior uh, Pinterest believes that anything that is spammy that too many images that are the same back to back that kind of interrupts uh, the, the good feeling, uh, the experience of the pinner. And Pinterest is very focused on providing the pinners with a good experience on the platform. So stay away from that uh, behavior. Even if you think, you know, even if before, a couple years ago, we used to do that. Uh, we used to get the same pin, create a pin, and share to 20 different boards back to back. And you still will find people using that. You still will find accounts in which you look at the pins created and they have so many, they are all exactly the same. So don't do that. Don't be that person. Uh, it's not, uh, it's not even doing that behavior, even if you don't get caught, uh, it's not gonna give you any advantage on your account because Pinterest can read the images. Meaning, once you pin the image, and then you go there and pin again the same image. And again, Pinterest knows that that's exactly the same pin. So you're not gonna get any extra traction, extra views or anything from it. So it's not even worth it. Um, another thing that could get you 
is joining too many group boards. And uh, yes, group boards. So group boards are boards for collaboration in which people can join together and pin things to the same group board. This board you belong to one person, but all the, account, uh, the pins will show in all of the accounts of the people who joined that group board. Back in 2018, this was a great, fantastic tactic that we used to grow accounts. And the more group boards you join, the better it was. And it wasn't that easy to join group boards because you would have to request to join. Some people would ask you to why you want to join, make sure your content was good and all of that, and there were rules and all of that. But that's not the original idea of group board, which a group board is a board for collaboration and not a board to market your pin. So um, is it worth joining group boards? In a few situations, yes, but usually don't bother about them. Don't bother about joining multiple group boards because this technique is not working anymore. And actually it stopped working 2019 and um, you know one of the advices that i give always when somebody is um trying to improve their account when they're optimizing their account is to archive group boards unless that group board has a proven success track has proven a record that brings in views and link clicks and all of that otherwise don't waste your time with group boards leave group boards for moments in which you are connecting with someone and you guys are sharing ideas you guys are exchanging you know some pins you are doing a project in the home and maybe you and your significant other or somebody a friend is collaborating with inspiration and that's it do not use group boards as um, a way to grow your pinterest account so how do you do but what do you do when you're in jail you're gonna have to appeal you're going to have to contact Pinterest. Pinterest is really good. Uh, you're going to go on the troubleshooting, Q&As and all of that. There is at the bottom a place where you can contact Pinterest. That can change, you know. Uh, as of now, at the bottom, you have a little place where you tap. You choose some options. You tell Pinterest what happened. You can attach um, a screenshot. You might need a secondary account or someone's account to do that. And you're going to email them and wait. Usually they will respond within 48, 48 to 72 hours. They're gonna take a look and if you're kind and always be kind and polite and ask and explain to them. And if you have to tell them, I didn't know about this and I won't do this again, do that and your account will be reinstated and you won't suffer any issues. Now, uh, hopefully that won't keep happening. Make sure you stop the behavior that you suspect was the cause for it. If you wanna ask them why it was suspended, they will explain if it was a mistake on their part, which does happen. They will apologize and reinstate your account. And as annoying as it is, um, it is what it is. What else can you do? So how can you avoid getting suspended? First and foremost, follow the guidelines. Do not do anything that seems too much. Do not do anything that seems spammy. Um, do not create too many boards at once. Do not pin the same image back to back. Spread it out. That's also much better for your account to spread out throughout the week versus going in one day and doing everything at once. You want to be consistent. So a Pinterest has a community and that is, there are guidelines there. You can ask for advice. Uh, you can do some reading and see what they have going on, but I always follow the guidelines. Also, avoid joining group boards unless it's something that's like a small group board that has a good track uh, that that is a purpose other than just spreading out your pins uh, keep creating your content keep pinning uh, vary your images do not pin the same pin over and over again and i would recommend you know, take a look at a good Pinterest course, invest on a good Pinterest course, uh, learn what are the best practices, the best strategies, the best tactics, um, learn how to create your own uh, pinning strategy that works for your niche and for your business. Uh, I recently launched a course, which is my Weekend Warrior Pinterest Crash Course. And as you can see from the name, it is a badass course. 
no fluff, straightforward to the point. Uh, I, will not, I do not spend half of the course talking about how Pinterest works, but actually I talk just a tiny bit about it, all, just the bit that you really need to know, and then I talk about how do you make it happen? How do you create your strategy? How do you create your pins? And how do you grow your account? Or your client's account. So take a look at it. I'll be dropping um, in the, you know, I will be dropping uh, the link to the course, but I'm also dropping uh, my free resource. Uh, and give me a follow, send me your questions, um, whatever questions you have, drop in the comments. I'll be more than happy to come back here and talk to you again. Thank you.